Well, it's no surprise that technology continues to push the limits of our expectations as consumers, but it's not just a one-way street. What we want is starting to have a huge impact on companies and how they innovate with their new products. Joining us now with some interesting trends is tech journalist Jennifer Jolly. Good morning, Jennifer. Good morning. It's great to have you on. So part of those trends that we're talking about is having sustainable materials in our cars. So how are they sort of making an appearance these days? Yeah, I'm here at uh, Ford World Headquarters just outside of Detroit, and they invited me here to really peek under the hood of how new technology is shaping what cars and driving and transportation in general will look like in the future. And, and you just hit on one of these things that has surprised me here. So take a look at this. These are leftover agave husks. It's like kind of like a shredded coconut shell. And Ford's taking these and turning them into bioplastic. Now, there's 700,000 pounds of this left over after one year of making tequila. So everybody says, well, what does agave do? Well, agave makes tequila. And this is what's left over. Ford's taking that, making bioplastic out of it and replacing petroleum-based plastic in every single car. It, this is kind of a, a big, huge number. Every car in America has about 400 pounds of petroleum-based plastic right now. So if you think about that, replacing it with something sustainable means it cuts down on fuel emissions. It cuts down on uh, how much gas we have to put in our car. And ultimately, it cuts down on how much money we spend. So, it, and you know, I said ultimately how much money we spend, but really the big picture is how, how much better it is for the planet. So win-win all the way around. I agree. And you're talking about agave and, and, you know, you say that if you make tequila, you get these leftovers, you make these sustainable products. That tells me we need to drink a little more tequila. Is that right? <laughs> well, I'm not going to go that far, but I will say, don't drive around licking your dashboard. Right. That's just weird. Don't drink and drive, <laughs> absolutely. So you're talking about saving money, you're talking about saving the environment. We haven't heard much about electric vehicles lately. What, what kind of update can you give us on that? Right. Well, the big buzzword around this trend conference is, has been electrified vehicles. Now that's a term I haven't used before. I think it's a little bit of auto industry buzz, and I was saying, you guys, electrified vehicles what is that you plug it in and it's a franken car but they were explaining to me that so far up until now e-cars electric cars have have worked a number of uh, two or three ways you plug it in it runs for a little while just on battery alone or you plug it in and it runs a little while on battery and a little bit on gas or it's just this kind of hybrid that is gets more uh, mileage than other cars now uh, they're investing a lot more money, $4.5 billion into the creation of 13 new vehicles, not necessarily cars. This might be an e-bike. It might be a van. They're investing all this money into changing the shape of these electrified vehicles to really meet our demands for wanting a way around gridlock, a better way to get through traffic in some really congested parts of the country, a, a, a vehicle that is less damaging to the environment and then really one that costs less. So a big barrier to electric cars has been that they cost a fortune. So we can expect to see quite a few more of those coming out uh, in the next four and a half years. Great. Well, Jennifer, you seem to really know your stuff, and I'm sure there's tons of more trends that we could talk <laughs> about. We don't, we don't have all the time in the world, but I thank you so much for coming on. Where can people learn a little bit more about the things you talked about and more? go straight to jenniferjolly.com and you will see a ride that I took yesterday and the car that took me for a test drive yesterday, a fully autonomous car that will also be on roads in America within the next five years. You can get a real insider look at that at jenniferjolly.com. Okay, that's super exciting and futuristic. Jennifer, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. Of course. Now, guys, stay right where you are. The Morning Blend's going to be right back.